We want to find all positive integers n such that n plus 5 divided by the square root of n minus 1 is also a positive integer. Do pause the video now and give this problem a go for yourself, but I'm going to dive right in here. So what we're going to do is first notice that since n is a positive integer, so is n plus 5. So this numerator is also an integer. And since we want this whole thing here to be an integer, uh, in particular rational, we need this bottom guy here to be a rational number. So root n minus 1 is a rational number. Now here's a fact for you, which you may or may not know, is if m is uh, an integer, then there's two possibilities for the square root of m, or I should say a positive integer. Then the square root of m is either an integer. So for example, if m was 16, the square root of m, uh, square root of m is square root of 16, which is 4, and that's an integer. Or the square root of m is irrational. So for example, if you did the square root of 3, that's irrational. And so those are the only two possibilities. It's impossible to get the square root of an integer being a rational non-integer, like 2.5 or 3.7 or something like that. So what this tells us is that since this denominator here is a rational number, and going by this fact, it therefore must be an integer. So root n minus 1 is some integer. And clearly, it's going to be, well, positive because n minus 1 can't be 0 because otherwise this denominator would be 0. So root n minus 1 is a positive integer. OK, cool. Well, how do we help? How do we use that to help us narrow down what n can be? Well, let's go back to our expression here. So n plus 5. We're going to write n plus 5 in a very special way. We're going to write it as root n minus 1 times root n minus 1. So obviously, if I do root n minus 1 times root n minus 1, that's just n minus 1. And so then I'll add 6 to it to give me n plus 5 over root n minus 1. OK, cool. Let's simplify this. Uh, so one of the root n minus 1s cancels there. So I get root n minus 1 plus 6 over root n minus 1, like so. OK, cool. So we said that root n minus 1 is an integer, so that part's fine. So in order for this to be an integer, we just require this guy here to be an integer. So in particular, root n minus 1 must be a factor of 6. Well, what are the factors of 6? Well, it's 1, 2, 3, or 6. So root n minus 1 must be 1, 2, 3, or 6. Great. So n minus 1 must be 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, or 6 squared, just by squaring each of these. And so therefore, the possible values of n are 1 squared plus 1, which is 2, 2 squared plus 1, which is 5, 3 squared plus 1, which is 10, and 6 squared plus 1, which is 37. So we have four different values of n, which give this expression here, oops, is a positive integer. If you have enjoyed this solution, please do give this, vid this video a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I make loads of fun videos where I solve interesting problems. And uh, if you enjoy this sort of stuff, this sort of channel is definitely for you. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.